here. I'd also like to ask uh, everyone uh, if you would silence your phones on this uh, auspicious occasion. I'd like to start this program by reading something that I put together, uh, taking a few notes from our great communicator, uh, President Ronald Reagan, and some of this is my own as well. I'd like to say happy Veterans Day to the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Thank you for the tremendous sacrifices you have made to defend us and our freedoms that we all too often take for granted. It is my sincere hope that this day finds our veterans in safety and comfort, surrounded by loved ones, as we all work towards the day that all mankind can live together in peace. Above all, we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is more formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and free women. It is a weapon that our adversaries in today's world do not have. And so I say thank you to our veterans. At this time, I would like to uh, welcome Again, all of you here to our Veterans Day ceremony, and I'd like to introduce the Reverend Walter Bennett, ex Wayne Bennett. I'm sorry, Wayne Bennett, ex Marine. So I understand, and it seems that I'm surrounded by Marines. No ex. No, no exes. Ex. I'm sorry. Former, former Marines, and I myself and non Perel, United States Army. So at this time, I would like to ask uh, Reverend Bennett to come up to do the invocation. If we could just uh, bow our heads, close our eyes. Let's look to the Lord. Lord God, we say thank you. Before we ask for anything, we like to thank you for everything. So God, we ask that you come up into this place today. And as we honor our men and our women who have sacrificed, God, we pause to understand that the ultimate sacrifice was through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, we say thank you that you've been with us. And as the Marine will call Semper Fi, always faithful God. You have proven time and time again that you have always been faithful through the hard times, through the lonely times. And God, we ask that you would bless and undergird those individual, individuals who provided their life on the altar of sacrifice, Lord so that we may enjoy the great freedoms that we have now, that we often take for granted. So, oh Lord, we ask that you would bless the families of those who have given their lives, and bless all the individuals under the sound of this weak and frail voice, God, that you will continue to bless us, that we will continue to be always faithful, first unto you. And God, we live up to that creed, God, country, and now family. In Jesus' name, we say thank you. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. amen. At this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor of Forest Heights, the Honorable Jacqueline Goodall. I would like to welcome all of you to the town of Forest Heights Veterans Day Observation. On the morning of November 11, 1918, after four years of war, 
the Allied and German powers met in Rathalons, France, to sign an armistice that halted the hostilities of World War I. Their agreement was signed shortly after 5 a.m. and went into effect the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, finally bringing an end to the carnage of World War I. Mm. The war that was fought to end all wars. On June 1, 1954, Congress changed the name of Armistice Day to Veterans Day. And on October 8, President Eisenhower proclaimed the first Veterans Day, a day that lets us remember the sacrifices of all those who fought so valiantly on the seas, in the air, and on foreign shores to preserve our freedom and the task of promoting an enduring peace so that all their efforts shall not have been in vain. While Memorial Day is set aside to remember and honor veterans who are now deceased, Veterans Day is a day to thank and to recognize all veterans who are still living and those who have served, and as we well know, those who are currently serving. I want to welcome you to our service. At this time, we'll have the presentation of the colors. We appreciate the Oxen Hill Young Marines joining us for the presentation of the colors under the direction of Thomas Mays. <laughs> 